Hi, my name is Chris Fenwick, and I want to show you some things about editing audio in Final Cut 10. Now, one of the things that we as editors do all the time is we will lay in a temp piece of music, very much like the MP3 files that you can get from premiumbeat.com. We will edit that music, we will finesse that music, and we will show it to our clients, and then we will seek buy-off. We want somebody to say, yes, that's the cut of music we want, and then we will go and we will purchase that piece of music and we will replace out the MP3. But here's the problem with that workflow. A lot of times in the process of finessing and stretching and shortening a piece of music, you'll make several edits on it. And to replace each instance of that piece of music can be a little daunting. Like for example, let me show you this timeline here. You can see that there are one, two, see this little guy here? three, four, five instances of this cut of music. Now that can be problematic because what that means is you're gonna to have to find the exact frames of each instance and relay it in and it's all kind of a pain. So I'm gonna show you a really cool way of doing this that will save you tons and tons of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a, a version of this timeline that uh, has no music in it at all. And I'm also gonna come in here and I'm gonna mute all of the um, interviews because I really don't have the um, clearances to use those interviews for this instance. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to our music temp keyword collection and I have a cut of music that I think is going to work and I want to kind of sell it to the client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom way in here. I'm going to line my cursor up with the beginning of the first frame of video. I'm going to select that cut of music and I'm going to hit the letter Q and what that's going to do let's zoom out, is it's going to lay it into my timeline. Now, right away, I can see it's too short. So we're going to have to lengthen this. That won't be a problem. Um, and I want to show you another thing from the version that the other editor did. Now, he didn't choose to use my uh, workflow. But if you come in here and you look at this, he's got this one little edit here. Now let's figure out why he had that because it's kind of peculiar to have that edit right in the beginning. So let's listen to what we have here. Oops, let me rewind. Okay, it's got a nice little build. Cut's called Free to Dream. Oh, a little loop there. Ah, okay, so that big piano hit he wanted that piano to hit to hit on the on this shot of the Texas flag. Now I'm hearing something that's a bit of an issue, but we won't get to that yet. We'll uh, we'll probably do that in our next tutorial. The main thing I want to do is show you the easiest way to swap out the temp music. So let's go to our version four C. We've laid in the cut of music. Here's my trick. What I want to teach you to do is whenever you cut a piece of music into a piece, there's two procedures you want to do right away. The first is hit Command G. And what Command G does is it places that cut of music in a secondary storyline. And that's going to make it much easier to edit and stretch and mess with this. The next thing you're going to do while you have the, the piece of music selected is hit Option G. And what that allows you to do is to create what I'm going to call a music bed, and I'm going to call it music bed one, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, if you look down in the timeline, you can see I have this familiar icon, which is for a compound clip. Now, why are we doing the compound clip? This is the key to this. The compound clip is going to make it much easier for me to swap out the temp music for the real music. Now, how do I know this is a temp music? Let's listen to it once again. Here's the loop part. Here comes the big piano hit. Now it's early. Nice. You hear that? That's the, that's the premium beat lyrics. We joke about it in our office all the time. Gee, I love that kind of music. I'm just not crazy about the lyrics. So that's a watermark. That's an audio watermark. It's the audio version of seeing a little, you know, eye stock photo thing in your, in your frame. And, um, most people understand it like, oh yeah, yeah, we're going to remove that later. Now, here's my trick. 
I have a compound clip. If I open up the compound clip, I can see that this is the, um, the cut of music. And I can also see the name of it. It's called Free to Dream. Now, I know that it's the watermarked version because I just heard the watermark. Here's my trick. I make a second keyword collection called Music Full right there. And the reason I do that is when you bring audio files into Final Cut 10, it doesn't actually show you the extension. There might be a way to do it. I haven't figured it out. So I only put the full resolution cuts of music into the keyword collection called Music Full. So here is my cut called Free to Dream. With that selected, I come down to my timeline. I hit Home to rewind the, the playhead. I hit Q to overlay, and I'm using giant air quotes there because I'm, it actually lands underneath it, but whatever, it's the overlay control. And this should be perfectly in sync with the original one, um, the original one being the temp one. Now, I say should be, and it probably is. It almost certainly is, but it's always good to double check because we're gonna do some pretty fine editing here. I'm gonna turn my scrub off there. Now, when I zoom way in, See, I'm gonna find this little hit here. I'm gonna keep zooming in, and you can see when I move the, the uh, playhead, I am right smack dab in sync with that thing. That, that looks really good. Okay, so let's zoom back out. We now have the full cut of music in sync with the temp cut of music. So how do I swap it out inside my compound clip? It's really simple. I select the temp cut, the top cut, or the MP3, or the one with the watermark, I press the letter V. It mutes it, it turns it off. Now, when I step back out to my piece and rewind and hit play, here's our looping part. We're gonna get to the edits in the next piece. Here comes our big piano hit. And here comes the watermark. And yet there's no watermark. And the reason there's no watermark is when I double click on the compound clip, I open it up and I can see that the original file, the MP3 is muted, and the full resolution version, the WAV file, it is um, turned on and that's the only one I'm gonna hear. Now when we come back, I'm gonna show you how do you, you can make edits on this compound clip and still be able to easily, very easily, replace out the full resolution piece. Thanks for watching.